Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a part-time reseller. I sell vintage and a few modern brands on sites like eBay, Etsy, Depop, Poshmark, etc. I also do pop-up sales. And today's video, I am taking you with me to a pop-up sale that I'm doing. It's Sunday, February 20th. Yes, <laughs> it's Sunday, February 20th, and I was invited by some friends to vend at a show that they're playing here in Highland Park, California. I did multiple vendors, and I'm going to take you with me and show you the process of how I set up to vend. So if you're interested in this type of video, just go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below. If you do pop-up shops, any questions that you have for me, I will be happy to answer. I'm not a pro, but I just learn as i go and i'm happy to share any information with you and stay tuned so here i have everything that i'm gonna pop up this is a temporary rack that i have in this extra bedroom i have an actual industrial rack that i take with me to pop-up shops that's already in my car but i'll show you it once i start unloading and setting up so our setup time begins at 2 p.m right now it's 12 30 ish so I'm going to start loading everything into my car. The show is at a bar in Highland Park, which is a really like trendy neighborhood here in Los Angeles. So it's kind of like a melting pot of communities. So since it's a show, there's bands playing. I wanted to do more of like a 90s Y2K collection. So I've actually curated items that I think would be fun for this type of crowd i know in previous in previous videos and i'm going to list a playlist of previous videos that i've done i say that it's really important to know the type of crowd that you're vending for and honestly i have no idea what this crowd is like because it's the first time that they're doing this kind of event it's the first time that they've invited me to vend sorry so i don't really know but since i know that it's a music event like a lot of music banties might be something to take Given that I know what type of neighborhood Highland Park is, it's very hipster, it's very trendy. So I have a mixture of like different vintage pieces that I feel like a trendy girl would be able to incorporate in her closet. You know, usually when I vend, I do like rockabilly shows, event sh like vintage shows. So I know what type of vintage to take. But like for this show, I'm experimenting and... Um, I'm not really losing anything because there's no vendor fee associated. So with these types of events, I try and experiment a little more because I really don't have much to lose. So let me give you a small glimpse of what I'm bringing. So I have some vintage robes and baby dolls. I thought these were just cute to bring in. I mean, we already passed Valentine's Day, but I thought, why not? Let me just bring some. Hopefully I can move a couple. I have some vintage just tops, some sheer, some colorful ones. And these are all items. My price point is like 10, 15, 20, 25. I have some sheer 90s shirts. I have this fun little 90s jumpsuit, some mod little shift dresses, and then some funky like print like these pants, some like Western style pants, thanks, trousers little 90s bb mini skirt and then most of what i brought are graphic t-shirts so i have like some betty boop some band t-shirts this is a maluma t-shirt this is a motley crew i found this uh, jenny rivera memorial t-shirt so selena i mean it's los angeles alejandro fernandez and it's a cumbia show so i'm imagining people are going to recognize these artists Mana, the Latino tour. And then I also have like vintage Mickey shirts, you know, um, and Maniacs. And then just like random t shirts Sublime at the drive in, Keith Sweat, some throwbacks, prints. Have this random Mickey Mouse scumbag t shirt. This is like a Vicente Fernandez t Disney, um, Rage Against the Machine, Che Guevara, more random. The Cure, The Smiths, etc, etc. Then I also have a bunch of hard goods, which I will show you when I get over there. I like pre-hanging my items and then I just transport them already on the hangers. So when I get there, my setup is super easy. I just hang everything up. For my longer items, I like putting them in garment bags. So all of these already are priced. 
these are like just the price tags that I write out and I put them in garment bags again just to make it easy to transport them I do this for like dresses and clothing but like t-shirts and everything I just fold them up and put them in like a giant Ikea bag so I'm just starting to put everything away so we can get going um, it's 12 30 right now set up begins at 2 p.m. so we're on time um, it's like about a half hour drive to the venue so I'm not panicking just yet it's 12 30 I mean as long as we leave in the next you know 30 40 minutes we're good so I sincerely apologize. I completely forgot to film. Just to give a recap on the event, it was very good. It was so much fun. Um, we got there like 15 minutes early. Setup was so easy. Literally, all we had to do was bring in my IKEA bag and my rack and that's it. They had tents set up for us already. They had tables provided and chairs. So really all I had to do was hang my clothing, set up my rack and hang my clothing. That's it. I put up a little table mat for the hard goods. And that's it. The turnout was good, but I do feel like people remained inside. They really didn't know what was going on because the patio was in the back. So there was people. We did get some sales. Um, we made around $90 which I know might not seem a lot to people, but it was fine, you know. We paid no vendor fee. We, again, we didn't have to set up any pop-up tents, tables, anything. Everything was provided for us. I had a handful of sales, but again, it was so much fun. It was just like hanging out with your friends. I saw so many people. It was the first weekend that they um, lifted the outdoor mask restriction. So if you were outdoors, you didn't have to wear a mask. It was a lot of fun and I would definitely do it again. But that's just how the game goes. You really don't know if you're gonna make anything. I've had sales where I've made nothing and I've had sales where I've made like $1,200 in two hours. You just don't know. But I would definitely do it again. For, for such an easy setup, I would definitely do it again. But my next sale is the boppin shop and here is the flyer it's on march 19th if you're local to southern california it's in riverside to be specific um and it's a really fun event they have live they have djs they're going to have live performance by joey quinones from the sincere's he's going to be there and there's multiple vendors they have food vendors they have candy vendors and they have lots of vintage so if you're into vintage this is the place to be on march 19th if you're here for monday's video i promised you a haul of what i picked up at those two estate sales in montebello and here is what i found so as i'm looking at the items i'm going to show you i'm realizing it's a theme it's all like hawaiian tiki themed and these items are specifically for the boppin shop and if they don't sell at boppin shop then i'll make them available online so first up is this vintage raffia purse it kind of reminds me of like a fishnet and it's like perfect for any tiki outfit so bringing this to boppin shop and this is from the first estate sale i picked up another purse bamboo handle woven tote bag again super cute for any tiki outfit and then i also picked up again hawaiian theme just this little notepad it says aloha from hawaii little notepad i thought it would be cute for like a tiki bar decor or something like that and then i picked up this woman's tiki shirt blouse it's definitely women's because it's shorter and the buttons are on the left and it's just polyester and the label is paradise hawaii so 
so I thought that was a cute little pickup. So that was everything from the first estate sale and then the second estate sale I only got three items. Hint, um, I was looking at them at the very end of that video. I'm going to link up that video here if you haven't seen it. And I know it's going to be kind of random and I don't know if they're good to drink. But I mean wine doesn't it get better with age so oh but this isn't wine. So this is scorpion mix from Dawn the Beachcomber. So this was, where was it? Was it like, oh, it's just Covina, California. What? Is there like a distillery in Covina? That's crazy. So the Scorpion is one of Don the Beachcomber's original drinks. And it's a, oh, and it gives you the little recipe in the back. So it says select large champagne type glass packed with crushed ice. Just add two parts scorpion, mix one part rum, garnish with a slice of orange, and top with a gardenia. So this is Don the Beachcomber Scorpion Mix. I mean, it's unopened, so I don't know. If you know, would, would this still be good? I don't know how old it is. But I got it more for decor, like... For somebody's tiki bar, I think it would be cool decor. So the scorpion mix. And then I got this white ginger syrup. This just says Melekoi Hawaiian white ginger syrup. Produced and bottled by Melekoi Farms in Kauai, Hawaii. So this is definitely a vintage bottle. I think it's unopened as well. Maybe it was opened once. I don't know if it's good to drink, but definitely cool for decor, for tiki bar decor. And tiki is really big, especially here in Southern California. There's so many, well, right before the pandemic, it was getting really big. There were so many events and like they have their own marketplace and pop-up shops. So I feel like a hardcore tiki fanatic would collect any of these. And then the last one is an original Trader Vic's pomegranate grenadine syrup. So I thought this was a really cool bottle. Even if it, I don't know if anybody would still drink it, it's probably not good. But just for decor, for people's tea bars. Yeah, for decor. All of these items will be at the Boppin Shop, which is March 19th. My flyer is right here. And after that, I will be vending at the Crash the Party Preview for Las Vegas barbecue. I'm also gonna attach that flyer here and I will do a video about that in early April and I'll show you some sneak peeks of what I'm saving for that show. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.